Hey guys, welcome to the new Rachel's English mini-series, Interview a Broadcaster! Hi guys, I'm here with Mr. John Marrow. John, can you tell my audience a little bit about what you do? Sure, I'm education correspondent for PBS NewsHour, and I have my own nonprofit production company called mm -hmm. Learning Matters. Learning Matters. Well, I don't know if you are aware of this, but one of the terms for the standard American accent is broadcaster English. So people all over the world are looking to people in America who deliver the news mm -hmm. as a standard for speaking American English. Okay, that, uh, I think that's a compliment to our profession. I right? think so too. Right. So where are you from? Have you had to change anything about the way you grew up talking? You mean you, you can't tell what I'm from? <laughs> I can't, which is exactly <laughs> what you want, I think. I'm actually from New England. Okay. Right? But not Massachusetts. Okay. So, so you, you didn't have a regional accent? I think not. Yeah. I think uh, I grew up in Connecticut, so mm -hmm. I guess that's sort of neutral country. Yeah, more right? neutral. Yeah. And when you're preparing something to read on camera, how do you prepare that? Do you say it out loud? How much time do you spend with it? Um, I usually write what mm -hmm. I say. Mm -hmm. We don't have a teleprompter. It's public television. Okay. And so I memorize it. Wow. Um, a teleprompter is a device you can attach to your camera that lets you read a script while you look right at your camera. I was very surprised to hear that Mr. Marrow doesn't use one. Even I use one for some of my Rachel's English videos. And but I have a I have a good short term memory. It mm -hmm. can hold it for a little while mm -hmm. and then it's gone. Yeah. So what do you do when you have a name or something, a place that you're not sure how to pronounce? Phonetically, work it out. Okay. Phonetically. And English is a very complicated language. It There's is. so many words that uh, My bow users and bow know that, yes. I mean, yeah, it's a tough language. It's, it's, I think, more irregular than the other languages I have some familiarity uh -huh. with. Uh, I, I am, applaud people who are learning English later in life, particularly. Yeah, right. Because we, we, we don't make it easy. No, we, we certainly don't. It's a bear. So are there any words in American English that are difficult for you to pronounce? Besides maintenance? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear about maintenance. Now, that's that, not how you say it. No, that's right. It's maintenance. But I was in graduate school in Indiana, uh, and I ran into some one person, I'm not disparaging the state of Indiana, mm -hmm. who pronounced it maintenance. My older sister was at Catherine Gibbs Secretarial School, and I told her that, just as kind of a funny story. And then that came up on a spelling test and she spelled it maintenance instead of maintenance, mm -hmm. and she has never forgiven me, and that was, you know, 40 okay. years ago. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> maintenance is an interesting word. The verb is maintain, with stress on the second syllable and the A as in say diphthong, maintain. But in noun form, the second syllable changes, and we have a different spelling and a different pronunciation. Now we have the schwa, and the T becomes a stop T instead of a true T. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintain. Maintenance. So maintenance, not maintenance. <laughs> but it's spelled maintenance. Of right, course, yeah, yeah. right. Are there any words that you especially love in American English? Or what's your favorite word? Oh, well, I, I like words that have very, very different meanings, mm -hmm. like entrance and entrance. Mm. They're spelled, they, they, but they have very different meanings, mm -hmm. so they look the same. Cool! Mr. Merrow likes words that are spelled the same, but have different meanings and pronunciations. These are called heteronyms, or homographs. Entrance, as a noun, has stress on the first syllable. The second syllable has the schwa sound. Entrance. Entrance. This is a place to enter like a doorway. Go through the entrance and turn left. As a verb, the stress instead falls on the second syllable. Therefore, the vowel must change because you cannot have the schwa sound in a stressed syllable. Now that syllable has the a ah as in bat, followed by a nasal consonant sound. a, ah, en, trance, entrance. This means to fascinate to fill with wonder. The ballet will entrance you. Entrance. Entrance.
Language is fascinating. Uh, it's a rich, wonderful, and really always is. changing language. Right. And, and you, by the way, are doing a great service to help well, folks thank master you. it. Yeah. Doing my best. And thank you so much for your contribution well, here by being in this video. Well, I, I appreciate your time very much. I, I, uh, thank you very much. So guys, if you're needing a good accent to follow, check out the PBS <laughs> News Hour, and you might get to see John. Yeah. Follow Mr. Marrow on Twitter and check out his segments on TV or online for a great example of American English pronunciation. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Check out all the videos in the Interview a Broadcaster series by clicking here or on the link in the video description below. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe. Either click here or in the description. But don't stop there. Keep learning with my American English in Real Life playlist, my Ben Franklin playlist, or my Word of the Week series. Click on me to check out my channel where there are hundreds of great videos. Don't forget to visit my website where you can learn about my premium membership and online courses.